Hi guys, how are you? Hope you're well. Um, no, I'm not in a different place. Well, I am in a different place, sort of. Um, I'm in our study at home. Uh, I've been home for the whole week and we set up a desk for me kind of next to the window, which is nice. We do have, a, we do have another desk, but it's, it's got everything on it. It's like, and I don't like it. I don't find it comfortable. So this is kind of where I am at the moment. I have a, this nice table beside the window. I wish I could see, let you see the view and stuff, but I can't. And anyway, why am I here? I'm here to do a review of Melissa Storm's Love Pro Love's Promise. I was sent this by Melissa for a review. Um, this is the second in her first street church romances. And I have to say, I loved it. Um, this story is concerns Christina Rose and Jeffrey. Christina Rose is a young lady who has don't know whether she's been eating for various reasons but she's overweight and she's diet type 2 type 2 diabetes and they've decided that the way to get rid of this is to give her a gastric band so this is her story of her going through the operation um her feeling is she going to be the same person that she was after surgery we then have Jeffrey who is working who works with Christina Rose in the diner um, run by a, an old lady called Mabel and he loves cooking he adores cooking um, but his father wants him to go back to college and finish his pharmaceutical uh, education Jeffrey doesn't want to do this Jeffrey would much rather work at the diner um, he also has feelings for Christina Rose and Christina Rose has feelings for him but because of everything that's going on with her with her surgery they don't they're kind of both very unsure as to whether this is the right time to sort of say anything, you know. So this is their story and the story of the other people that you've already met in the first book. So you get back, you find out more about Summer, you find more about her husband Ben, and you find out more about the other characters within the whole village. I really like that. I like that you getting more connections with the other other characters, and that. You know, you're learning more about them, about the village, etc., um, or the town. And that's really, really nice. I like that kind of vibe within a book, where you're not just stuck with, or not, don't mean stuck, but you're not just concentrating on one lot of characters. You've got other characters coming in and out, and sort of telling you a bit more about them and about their lives, which is really, really nice. Um, would I recommend this book? Definitely, I'd actually recommend the whole series because it's it's really, really good. Um, the characters are believable, you actually feel you're friends with them, you want to know more about them, and you want to sort of develop a relationship with them. I like the situations that these characters find themselves in. You can see it's everyday situations and you're like, mm, you know, it's not like, oh gosh, yeah, right, I really believe that. No, it, you do believe these situations and you think, yes, these are, you know, situations either I could see myself in or I've been in or friends are in, whatever. So yeah, really, really good. I'm looking forward to the next book coming out. I'm not going to put any spoilers on this review. Um, if you've read this book and you want to discuss it with me, please let's do so down below in the comments bar. That'd be really good. Um, but if you haven't read it, go pick it up and pick up the first one. I think you'll really, really enjoy them. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.